do you approach each player like an individual, like your tallest player could one day be a guard, or is it like you just running like a taller player is a center, and like how you go about that? Right now, as far as my team set up, I teach the, the the height challenge. We won't call them short because they yeah, go yeah. worse in society. So the height challenge, I teach them to be guards. So you necessarily need to know how to handle the ball and make better passes than the, the taller guys. Because it's just logical. Mm -hmm. So it should come to you naturally to just dribble it once I pass you the ball. And I run a guard and a big man game. So my big man, I teach you to just rebound, be able to catch. When the guard passes it to you, catch it. Yeah. Going straight up. If you get a rebound, not, don't put it back on the floor. Just going straight up back to the basket. One of the reasons I really decided to coach, I would say for the black boys, is to give them something to do. Keep them in a healthy body, and a healthy body frame. Healthy, what's this? That's cool, keep going. Um, basically to give them something to do. Keep them off the streets, keep them from getting into trouble, out of the jails. It's one thing to say it, but it's another thing to actually participate in it and give it your best effort to keep the children off the streets doing anything dangerous. Another reason I decided to coach is because of course I love the game and I want to give back, whether it be to my sons or someone else's son, daughter, anything that I could offer. On my team, I like for my players to have fun. It brings a positive attitude and brings the energy of the team up. It makes them actually want to play together and pass the ball appropriately and just look out for the brothers or the sisters on the court. So did you play basketball? Definitely, I played basketball actually on a team since I was in the sixth grade, but I played street ball every day since like the age of six or seven in my neighborhood and local parks. <laughs> you'll get from me when I'm coaching you, it's definitely going to be playing with toughness, playing with discipline, and playing with a positive attitude. Those three things will get you far in the game. If we're down in the fourth quarter, I need you to stay positive. If you look up at the scoreboard and see we're down, I need you to think that we can win. Playing basketball is all about toughness. If you can stop the ball on any fast break, whether you're big or tall, big or small, it's definitely going to go far. that allow me to coach your children. I want them to know that we have to have energy on the court, a lot of discipline, a good attitude. We're going to get after the loose balls and we're going to push it. I'm all about defense.
here. When you're on offense, you'll be on defense. When you're on defense, you come back and you get on defense. If they say white ball and you're the person who takes the ball out, you should be standing right there next to the ref and you should be calling your guard to come and get the ball. Y'all understanding me? Big men, y'all gotta watch basketball. Big men hold the ball. They play down low, they hold the ball. They stay down low, offense and defense. I can teach you to play, but I can't teach you to drive on the hustle. They're going after the loose ball. The feet, you got two of them, God gave them to you to jump, jump. Y'all did a lot better on the positive note. Y'all got after the balls a little bit better after I kept on getting it to y'all. Y'all did some more shooting. They was playing the zone. I kept trying to get y'all to recognize the shot is there. When you get it, don't be so quick to put your head down on the floor. The shot was open the whole game, all right? Mostly we just got out rebounded. That was it. So in practice, we going out for the rebounding. I don't need y'all walking on the court on Wednesday. I need y'all out there hustling. For my time, we got to be able to execute with time. Right? Y'all play much better, but we got to do much better. And it takes y'all. Y'all got to do much better. Y'all got to start. Just watch basketball. Start with that. If you are a guard, look at what the guards do on the basketball team. Steph Curry's a guard. John Morant is a guard. Look at how they play. Look at where they play. Look at what they do. How they look for passes. When they pass the ball. Big men. Watch Draymond Green. Watch uh, Joel Embiid. Watch how they play basketball. Wing men. Everybody has a role, okay? Y'all gotta understand that part. We can work on the rest. Bring it in, bring it in. All the bad I can say that uh, the team we need to work on, because I see when we start losing what happened, the attitude. I'm big on attitude. Y'all can be the best player on my team, but if you got a bad attitude, I'm gonna sit you beside me. If you start cussing your teammate out, I'm gonna sit you beside me. If you don't help them up when they fall, I'm gonna sit you beside me. Other than that, the rest, we can work on it. I can't work on attitude. You gotta look in the mirror and decide what type of man you want to be to grow up. Look at somebody who's modeled out. If Mr. Jamal is a good man you want to model out, look at him. Take a good look at whatever male role model you have, put it in your head mentally. This is what kind of man I want to be. When I approach the court, I want to have a good attitude. When I step out there, I want to be tough. Don't let them run over you. You a man just like that man, all right? Here we go. Jeremiah, take a stop. Lighting on three. One, two, three. Lighting. Lighting. So how long have you been coaching? I've been coaching the basketball for about four years. You like it? I love it. 